right, this is Brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honest to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aquath that's listening and learning. Today, I'm getting to a topic talking about Quan Charles. He was a, a teen. You know, he was a young man, you know, and pretty much is going around everywhere on news articles, news reports and everything about his body turning up and uh, his face looks like what you see on the screen. But before I get into it, I'm going to let you I'm going to play this video because a brother, uh, brother Sar Sahar sent me this video and uh, I'm going to let you hear this video and then I'm, I'm going to put my two cents in, man, because pretty much. At the end of the day, man, this is, continues to happen. And when you see things like this, this is letting you know that we are living in hell and we are still under e Esau's harsh rulership, man. All right. So before I start speaking, let me play this video. This picture is so disheartening because you started over. This young boy went by the name of Quan Charles. His body was found in a cornfield in Louisiana. Um. So, y'all, yeah, this picture is so disheartening because this young boy went by the name of Quan Charles. His body was found in a cornfield in Louisiana. Um, I don't understand why isn't this um, national news because this, looking at his body, remind me of Emmett Till's. And his family needs answers. No one don't know what happened to him. He left the house um, to, with a stranger. And um, we need answers because guarantee, yes, I'm going to use a race card. If this was a white child, it would have been all over CNN, MSNBC, everywhere. So please spread the video. Be aware of what's going on. Please protect your kids and love your babies, y'all, because this world is full of monsters. <laughs> so... You know, I seen uh, uh, I seen a brother make uh, do a video on this and everything like that, and he pretty much was like, "Man, this might have been Emma Till and the reincarnation because this happened to Emma Till in in nineteen fifty five, and now this is uh, it's two thousand twenty, and you know, you look at both of our, these faces back to back. I'm gonna put that as the thumbnail so you can see it, but when you look at these faces back to back, man, they are very similar as far as you know." The um torture that they uh both of them went through, man. Like you look at this dude's face, man. Let's let's look at his face. Look at his face, man. Teeth mitts, man. He just he he looks unrecognizable. Unrecognizable, man. If you want to talk about, you know, two face, the real two face, man, look at him. This is this is what they made him look like, man. His whole other half of his face is not normal, man. This is what Esau does to you Jakes out here. This is what Esau is all about, man. Look at this picture, man. This is a this is a this is a the a clear message. This would be just straight up clear in your mind of who is in rulership right now and who is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Cause who would have it in their spirit to even do something like this, man? I mean, this is ridiculous, ridiculous. This is why the scriptures say that Esau is going to pay double, man, because these things like this cannot just fly. It cannot fly. You cannot be forgiven for these type of things, man. And like she said, he was found in a cornfield. Stranger took him and everything probably was, you know, you know how Esau do it. You know, his 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 words were smoother than butter, but war is in his heart. That type of spirit, man. Probably geeking up the little boy or whatever. The next thing you know, he, he didn't realize he was in danger until certain things started happening. We don't even know the full story of what happened to this dude, man. This is why we got to get up out of here, man. Because we are in the valley of the shadow of death, which is in here in America, man. This is our, this is our, this is not our home, man. I'm going to jump straight into the scriptures. I'm going to let the scriptures take, <laughs> take this over, man. Let the scriptures take this over. Let's get Galatians 6.
Galatians 6. And it says, Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. All right. Let's start from 6. Let him that is taught in the word communicate it to him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. So these type of things definitely are going to happen to you, Esau. These type of things will happen to you day in and day out once the kingdom is established, man. Once the kingdom, before it's even established, as soon as this place goes down, your torture, your hell, your sorrow, your pain begins immediately, man. Immediately. And then it's going to begin here too. It's going to begin here too in your own kingdom. Because the elect, along with Yahweh Shai and the angels, they're going to be taking out a lot of you people in this uh, country, man. And in this whole world for that matter. Because Yahweh Shai and the angels is coming back to destroy this place. All right? But like it says, but whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. So you think... You could just shed all of this blood, make people unrecognizable, commit all of this murder, commit all of this rape, commit all of this robbery, and then just live scot-free, man? Just be standing in the, in the back of the podium or behind a podium and saying, oh, this is a, just such a great country and we're here for everybody. We want to make sure that everybody is in good hands. When that's not even the case, man, we are not in good hands, man. We are in dangerous hands. Look at this, man. Let's get Isaiah, because the thing is, you have to pay, man. You have to pay, and when that day come, man, it's, it's not going to be pretty for you, man. That dude was only a teen. They said that dude was a teenager. He probably was no older. It looked like he was no older than probably like 13, 14 years old, man. Isaiah 14 to 21, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right, we're going to prepare slaughter for the children, man, because you are your forefathers. And, and it's evident now. Just like the brother brought out his video, that might have been Emma Till in the reincarnation. So guess what? It's the same way with you, Esau. You are your forefathers because you come back three to four generations later in a new body, man. But your spirit does not change. Your spirit does not change. You were created to be the wicked one, man. Only somebody with a wicked and evil spirit can do something like that, man. Now, don't get me wrong. Jake is wild, too. Jake Jake is crazy as hell, too. But at the end of the day, man, Jake don't, don't just go out there and slaughter people like that for no reason, man. Esau, he enjoys it. He'll, he'll snatch you up, man, and he'll do whatever he wants to you, and he'll laugh about it. He'll laugh about it while committing that torture to you man and people will be like man people who always wondering like oh man how come y'all just be screaming at them and doing all these other things that is cursing them out on a daily basis it's because they deserve it man they deserve it we're going to prepare a slaughter for his children which is you all living today okay today Oh, that was my forefathers. I didn't do any of these things. Yeah, but look at your people today, man. This happened this year. This happened this year. Come on, man. How long do we have to go through this, man? And that's in the scriptures. How long will our uh, oppressors rule over us, man? But we already know we at the end. And like I said, Esau, I already know the elites, man, they having nightmares, man. They can't sleep at night. Because they already know what's about to happen to them. They know what's coming. They know what's coming. That's why they're not pressing the button so they can get this going immediately, man. But hey, yeah, how about show me I was shy? Man, they're controlling everything, man. They are controlling everything. They're gonna harden your hearts, man. They're gonna make you do exactly what you need to do so you so you can fulfill prophecy. And guess what, man? As soon as you do that, man, oh, it's over with for you, Esau. It's over with, man. Revelation. Revelation. Revelation 18 <clears throat> and 4. And it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, 
and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. So think about that, man. Think about that little boy's face we just saw on that screen. Esau, your face is going to be double as worse. Two times as worse, man. <laughs> you you that came out all these video games like Mortal Kombat and you that came out all these horror movies demonstrating how you really are, man. Serial killer spirit and everything like that. Showing the brutality that you possess. And you think that you the biggest, baddest man on the earth, man. Just because you in rulership right now. Guess what? Those, those examples that you set ain't going to be shit compared to what we're going to do to you in the kingdom, man. And like I said, it's going to be ha it's going to happen every single day. And yeah, we're going to look forward to waking up in the morning. We're going to look forward to waking up in the morning so we can see exactly what's going on. Because a lot of you Edomites, man, y'all just going to get fucked up for no reason. Just like y'all doing to us right now. We ain't going to have to have a reason to do anything to you, man. Like the scriptures say, man, we're going to meditate terror. We're going to meditate terror, man. So it's going to be a lot of days where you're just going to be really thinking to yourself, like, why is this happening to me? Why are they so harsh? Why are they so cruel? Hey, man, it's because it's your judgment, man. You're getting ready to chip everybody. And then in the meantime, while you're getting your new world order set up, you're still showing the devil that you are, man. How come, man, you get, like, soon as 2020 started, it was all kind of, uh, reports going around where uh, Issachar and uh, Judah was being hanged on trees, being hung on trees, man. It was like six to seven different people within, I think, like a month to a month and a half uh, span, a uh, month and a half span, man. Being hung on a tree, man, and people wondering where this coming from. Then you had all of these other ones, all these other videos, of course, showing Esau still gunning us down in the streets. And then they make an excuse. Oh, well, you know, he was jogging down the street or whatever and everything like that. I was on neighborhood watch. So I had to protect my neighborhood. You had to protect your neighborhood by first shooting the dude. And then they said he, they were going to hang him. That was um, that was known after the whole report came out because they got the truth out of them. They were going to hang him, man. So for neighborhood watch, it requires you to gun somebody down and then hang them on a tree. Okay. We're going to remember that. We are definitely going to remember that, man. Let's get and let's stay in the same book real quick. Stay in the same book. Revelation 13 and 10. It says, he that leaveth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. This is our patience and this is our faith, man. Because we believe that we are going to be the next rulers of this world. And we believe that you will go into slavery, man. And we believe and have patience and we are waiting for it right now, man. We're praying to Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shah that we are part of the elect. And we're praying that we can become hunters and gather you Edomites up, man. The remaining of you Edomites that's, a, uh, that's still living after the nuclear uh, missiles hit, man. We are waiting for that time, man. It's going to be a glorious time to, to finally get you up in them shackles, man. Get you up in them chains. Because <laughs> we're going to round you up, man. And guess what? We ain't just going to round you up into this chain you. No, nah, man. You better, better believe. Man, we're going to get a couple of them. We're going to get a couple of them, like licks in, man. <laughs> man, brother's going to be taking turns. Like, hold on, man. Let me get my practice swing on right quick. That's how it's going to be, man. Your double judgment is going to start immediately. Immediately, man. Esau got to go, man. Esau have to go. And just like the brother said in this video, this is why we need Yahweh Shai to come back, man, to get us up out of here, man, because this is hell. We don't know what can happen to us at any time of the day, man. At any time of the day. Anything can go off, man. Anything can happen. We don't know what, what type of devilish spirit Esau is going to have upon him at that, at that very moment. Or in whatever day it is of the week, man. That's why the scriptures say, trust not your enemies. 
You're not supposed to trust your enemies, man, because if you do, guess what? You could become in a position like that little boy, man. Quan Charles. You could be just like him. Oh, but you know, but it's, it's you know, uh, uh, it, it's some cool uh, uh, white people or whatever. I'm just like, nah, man. You got to keep your distance, man. You got to look at what's going on. Yeah, you could probably run into some that you have a good conversation with or they might help you out and everything like that. But what's the great saying that Muhammad Ali said? He said, hey, man, y'all from a, a family of snakes. You're like, okay, yeah, you be in a room with one snake, you probably won't worry about it. But if you be in a room full of snakes, what you think is going to happen? <laughs> Now they gonna strike, man. They gonna strike. And this is this is what's gonna happen to you, Esau. This is exactly what's gonna happen to you right here. Ezekiel, hold on, I clicked on the wrong one. This is Ezekiel 35, 5 through 9. It says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. And the time of their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, power, Yahweh, I will prepare blood thee unto blood. Salakia, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut from it him that passes out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. In thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Just like we read in Revelation 13 and 10. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. You are going to be knocked over with them scepters, knocked over with them rods and iron. You're going to be beaten with bare hands. We, you're going to be uh, in torture and pain with us using our spiritual power on you. Because thou has has had a perpetual hatred. This is a that's the act like that is perpetual hatred. Where you to the point where you can't even recognize his face. They literally have to look and be like, oh man, look at look at his face, man. Look at this. Who is this? Unrecognizable, man. I mean, his lips, his mouth look like they were melted. Like, what exactly did you do to that little boy, man? And like it says in verse 6, I will prepare thee unto blood because thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee, man. The scriptures say our garments is going to be like as if we were in a, in a wine press all day, man. It's going to get messy, man. It's going to get messy. It's going to be a lot of screaming and a lot of torture and it's going to be a lot of uh, nightmares that you're going to have every single day, Esau, because of things like this, man. And the thing is, you're getting ready to do even worse because you're getting ready to um try to usher in your new war order. So you're getting ready to do even worse to Jake out here, man. Even though certain Jakes are going to deserve it because within that time, it's going to be judgment. All right? But at the, at the end of the day, man, Esau's going to go all out, though. He's going to go all out on these people, man. So y'all need to think about that, man. Think about where you're living at. Think about what's going on. Think about why you're in this position. Think about why these things keep happening to our people, man. We got to get up out of here. We got to get up out of here. Stay away from the enemy. Every single one of you that went and voted, and voted, man, I can't wait for Joe Biden to finally roll on you, show you his true horns, man. Because a lot of y'all going to look exactly just like that little boy, man. But at the end of the day, man, Esau, you going to have to pay for that, man. You going to have to pay for that. Because that, that don't make no sense, man. There's no reason why somebody should look like that. And then come and then go go missing. And then, like the woman said, it's not in any news reports. It finally went viral, what, today or yesterday? Or the day before? And they said he been missing. And she said it correct, too. She was like, yeah, I'm going to play the race card on this because it was somebody else. Hey, this would have been everywhere. This would have been everywhere. But this is showing you that you jakes out there are hated you are hated they don't care about you man they don't care about you at all man they want to see you suffer 
They want to see you at the bottom. They don't never want you to come up, man. But guess what? At the end of the day, the scriptures say otherwise. The roles are about to be reversed. And like I said, and as soon as that day comes, Esau, get ready for a long thousand years. So with that, man, I'm going to say call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekak Wadash. Double honest to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honest to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwa that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratzazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.